Hemorrhaging support among a crucial voting bloc, Donald Trump today took the stage in West Palm Beach to fight back. These vicious claims about me of inappropriate conduct with women are totally and absolutely false. They're pure fiction and they're outright lies. These events never, ever happened. In the past 24 hours, five women have come forward to say Trump touched them inappropriately. One, a People magazine reporter who claims Trump made unwanted advances at Mar-a-Lago. Another, a photographer's assistant who says Trump grabbed her buttocks. A beauty pageant contestant who says Trump kissed her repeatedly on the lips. A woman in New York who claims Trump did the same thing to her. And Jessica Leeds, who told the New York Times Trump groped her on a first-class flight in the early 1980s. It was a real shock when all of a sudden his hands were all over me. I hesitate to use this expression, but I'm going to, and that is he was like an octopus. It was like he had six arms. He was all over the place. And Entertainment Tonight added another hot mic moment to the pile, catching Donald Trump in 1992 talking to a group of 10-year-olds at Trump night. Tower. You're going up the escalator? Yeah. I'm going to be dating her in 10 years. Can you Trump today portrayed the groping allegations as a coordinated strategy between the media and the Clinton campaign to keep him out of the White House. This is nothing more than an attempt to destroy our movement and for the Clintons to keep their corrupt control over our government. The Trump campaign sent a letter to the New York Times demanding a retraction. The Times declined, writing back, quote, nothing in our article has the slightest effect on the reputation that Mr. Trump, through his own words and actions, has already created for himself. Trump backer Jerry Falwell insists Trump has evidence to refute the women. He was telling me all the evidence he has, email evidence, that these accusations from these, these uh, ladies are untrue. Trump told supporters at his rally he will make that proof available at an appropriate time soon. Many of his fans have faith. We don't believe any of it. It's unimportant anyway because of the other important issues that are facing the country. Just playing over and over the bashing of Mr. Trump. That's all we hear. It's not an election. It's a smash campaign. I won't lose confidence because guess what? He's just a regular guy. He's not a politician. He's one of us. People make mistakes. You move on.